Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing video for the Arduino Portenta H7 microcontroller. I ordered this about three weeks ago and everything's in this package which uh, hasn't been opened yet obviously. So what I have ordered is, uh, I've ordered three things. The uh, Portenta H7 microcontroller, that's the main uh, controller, professional grade level. Uh, I've also got the Vision Shield which is uh, for Ethernet cap uh, capabilities and the uh, LoRa for apparently for artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities. Not that I've ever had much experience with that, but uh, in any case, let's get started. So here's the package and it came to around just a little shy of 2000 Hong Kong dollars. So about 103 US, uh, 47 US and 63 US for the H7 the Ethernet Shield and the LoRa Shield, respectively. Okay, without further ado, let's get uh, into the package. So, let's un... Let's take this out. And, actually, I should have opened it from there, but, no, oh, never mind. I'm not going to reuse this anyways. So, let's... Let's get these out. Okay, we have... Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Okay, a couple of boxes. Oh, we got one more as well. So, let's see... All oh, right, and that's a that's a receipt. Yep. So uh, if you have a look, we have the Portenta H7, the Portenta Vision Shield, which is for the Ethernet capabilities, and the LoRa Shield. Okay, that is a receipt. All right, let's put that aside just for now. Let's put the uh, packaging aside for now. So what what do we have? Okay, here we go. So that is the Portenta H7. So that's the box. This is an Arduino Pro. So this is industry standard professional level stuff. This is not like the Arduino Uno or the Nano. It's not even the uh, ESP32 or the Node MCU. This is completely different uh, league, much higher league. So it's the Portenta H7. Let's just put those aside for now. Ooh, look at the specs. STM32 H747 dual core processor with graphics engine 480 megahertz clock. Right. Well, look, if you um I wasn't planning on doing this, but if you take the Arduino Uno R3 board and you put them side by side, okay, this is the Arduino Uno R3 board. Just to compare the specs, if you take a look, you can see right, slight differences. So like this one has 32 kilobytes of memory. Uh, with 2 KB S, is it S RAM and uh, EEPROM, and this one's got two megabytes, which is a a huge, huge leap, and one one megabyte S RAM, man, that is absolutely huge, incredible, yes, um, yeah, so that in itself is a huge difference, and of course. Connectivity is quite important because we've got BLE, that's like the new standard of uh, Bluetooth, as well as Wi-Fi and Ethernet, which the Arduino Uno R3 does not have. Okay, so, yeah, for a professional level board, that is quite normal. Okay, so let's take a look at the inside. Okay, we've got the holographic sticker, so you know you've got the genuine item. All right, let's open this. We will not be testing these, by the way. We're just unboxing them, all right? The testing will be done uh, later on in the future, I guess, because, I mean, this is um, quite professional, and I've got to handle it with care as much as I can. Oh, look at that. Oh, great. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, so we've got... Thank you for choosing an Arduino board and some supporting the community. The Uno board also came with a similar thing, except the uh, it's green and not dark gray, so... Bits and pieces. Okay, we'll just put that. I'll put that aside. So that. Not that I actually knew what was inside the box, except there's a board. I thought there would be some header pins or something. That is the board. Wow. That is nice. It's a beautiful board. A beautiful board. I'm just trying to uh, fix the focus a little bit. So, yeah, that must be the CPU. This Arduino, it's got a sticker on it. It's coming off just a little bit, but yeah. 
designed and assembled in Italy, just in case you can't read it. It has a, I believe that's a, um, a connector for lithium polymer batteries. So let's get the focus back again. So connector for lithium polymer batteries. Um, we also have, uh, it's a USB Type-C port, which finally, you know, um, so that's going to be good for the speed. And, oh, careful. And it's got these two connector things on the back, so you can, I think you can plug the shields just using that. Okay, so I'm gonna, we'll just put that there. So that is the H7. Okay, now we have two other ones. Oops, we have two other ones. So these are the uh, Vision Shield and the, uh, sorry, the LoRa connectivity and the Ethernet. So let's go to the, um, oh, we'll do the LoRa first. Okay, so let's open this. Alright, so let's open this. Oh, should we look at what's on the back? Yeah, all right, let's see what's on the back before we open all this. So if we go and take a look. So it's got a low power camera. I forgot to mention it does have a camera on it. Uh, microphones, LoRa, SD card storage, JTAG, connectors, Portenta HD. I think I'm reading it the wrong way. 66 by 25 millimeters. Mm, okay. Right. Well, let's let's dig in and let's see what we've got. Okay. So got the same uh, grey bits of paper. Right. That is the Laura. There we go. Okay. And it's got this this f foam bit on it. Oh, that must be a very fragile connector. There's a little camera here. All right, little camera here, little QR code as well. Uh, must be a CPU of sort. And let's just turn it around. There's a space here, which I thought was supposed to be for Ethernet, but that's for the other board. Okay, so, ah, yes, so I've got a little, what do you call it, micro SD slot in there. So if you take photos, you can store them all in there. And uh, you notice the uh, connector. So if you have the Portenta. Oh, sorry. I think you can just clip it on. You should, be just, you should just be able to clip it on like that. Um, not that I'm going to do that necessarily yet. Okay, let's um, put that there. Okay, let's put that back into the box. So hang on. Right, so we've got ourselves the H7, we have the LoRa, and uh, now we've got the Vision Shield for Ethernet. So let's take a look. So for the uh, Ethernet, let's turn it around. Mm. Okay, it looks like it's the same. Hang on. Okay, so this is the LoRa and this is the uh, Ethernet. All right. Oh, this one's got a camera as well. The only difference between these two is this one, it says Ethernet, and that one says LoRa. Something to do with AI. I've got to do my research on that, admittedly. I haven't uh, looked up as to what that is. I mean, right now, this is very spontaneous. Oh, hang on, is this... Oh. This... Oh, sorry, I'm going to have to... Let's just, just take that. Okay, let's stick that there. All right, okay, that is more like it. Okay, so that's the Ethernet shield. Let's take it out. So very similar to the LoRa. Very similar. Okay, if we just, just put that there for a moment. Hang on, excuse me. All right, I'm going to have to take this off again. So that's the LoRa and that's the uh, Ethernet. So if we take a look... Right, you'll notice uh, right, one subtle difference, I think, is just the fact that uh, it's got this as the Ethernet uh, connector and this hasn't. There's like a big gap. Right, if you turn it around, yep, both of them have the micro SD slots and both of them have the camera, I think. Let me just check. Yep, the camera's in the middle. Yeah, the camera's in the middle. Wow, that's... Remarkable. And there's a space here where there's supposed to be some kind of a chipset. It's, it's on this one, but it's not on that one. 
Okay. All right, let's let's put that there. And uh, now let's see. Can we? Uh, how do we actually connect these together? Let's see. So if I just grab these two. I'm going to move these boxes aside. Okay, I think I've sussed it out. So what you do is you take the uh, main H7 board and you take the vision shield and you have to make sure that you align the ports. The ports have to be facing the same way, not alternating. And then just plug it in to there. And then you have to just slot it in or socket it in more like. And, uh, oh, hang on. Okay, right. Alright, so what you need to do is you need to take this part here and you need to put it, you need to slot it. Okay, right, what you need to do is you need to take this part and just socket it in. So. Yep, just sandwich the two parts together, just like that. And there you have, you have the Portenta H7. Okay, let's, get, let's get the focus back. You've got the Portenta H7, and you have a vision shield on the back. It's either Ethernet or LoRa. I'm actually going to find this will probably be more useful for me, since I do, um, I use a lot of uh, Ethernet connections, just because the speed's a lot faster uh, for the time being. Anyway. All right, and uh, I guess if we want to take it off, we could just uh, just detach it. Got to be quite careful with that, because I'm always afraid I'm going to break the board. Uh, this is for any chips, for that matter, not just this one, because th these are quite expensive. So anyway, so there we have it. We have the Portenta H7, the Vision Shield LoRa, and we have the, excuse me, let's, just for consistency, and we have the Ethernet shield vision shield okay that's it guys these are the three boards i'm very happy with this i'm going to be you know experimenting with this don't know what i'm going to be making in the end but uh we'll see how we go all right so thank you so much for watching and uh we'll see you soon thank you and goodbye